Hello, my name is Olena and in this video I'll help you determine how many partitions you need for your Apache Kafka topic. When you create a topic, you need to provide information on the number of partitions that you want to have. And in some cases, you won't be able to easily change this number later. So it's important to consider and carefully determine the most optimal number of partitions based on the information that you have about your data and about your system. This is not the case when you want to get inspiration of the number of partitions from such systems as LinkedIn, because I guess the system you are building isn't LinkedIn, or at least it's not at that scale. So let's look at two extremes, setting too few partitions and setting too many partitions for your topic. Having too few partitions will negatively affect the performance and scalability because it will limit the overall throughput of data. It's like having two traffic uh, lanes instead of five. The movement of the data will be slower. Also, very importantly, the number of consumers in a consumer group is limited by the number of the partitions you have in a topic. If you have more consumer instances than total number of partitions, those instances will be idle. So a very common recommendation is when creating a topic is to set the number of partitions higher, projecting the growth of the system into the future. And indeed, you should set the number of partitions somewhat higher planning for the future. But because of this recommendation, there is also a temptation to set the partition number significantly higher, just in case. And sadly, that will bring you a different set of issues. For example, all admin operations such as backups and upgrades will be slower as you get more and more partitions. And the thing is, when you add a new partition, you also add replicas for it. So the increase in the number of items you need to take care of during the admin operations is not just one extra per partition, but also take into account uh, all extra replicas you have now. And uh, usually you have a partition with uh, two uh, replicas. Not to mention that the more partitions uh, and more consumers you will have in your system, more frequent consumer rebalancing you will experience. And consumer rebalancing is when we reassign the partition ownership by consumers. Um, every consumer in a consumer group is assigned um, one or more topic partitions exclusively. And this reassignment of responsibility is a time-consuming operation that many of us prefer to avoid. So it's good to be aware that the higher number of partitions doesn't come for free, so you never should just in case set it to the maximum possible value. Uh, but too few partitions is also bad. So where is the golden middle and how do we calculate it? And my recommendation will be to start with the end in mind. When deciding how many partitions you need, think how the data will be consumed and what is the throughput of your consumer application. Uh, measure the speed speed with which your application logic, your consumer application logic can process a bunch of messages to see what is acceptable load on those consumers and how many of them do you need to process the data in parallel. For example, if you anticipate desired read capacity of one gigabyte per second, but your single consumer can only process 100 megabytes per second, then you'll need to have 10 consumers and that will require 10 partitions. 
This at least will give you a minimum number of partitions to aim at. And of course, you need to think about the plans, how you will expand the system in the future and set this number somewhat bigger, but not too big to avoid other issues. If in doubt, still set the number of partitions higher rather than lower, uh, but don't do extremes. Number of uh, producers, by the way, is not directly connected to number of partitions. Uh, so you can add more producers if producing data is too slow. And during the system design for the cases with heavy data load and complex data structures, maybe it makes sense to add two topics instead of one just to make stuff a bit more simple. Cool. So you made a decision on the number of partitions, but can you change that number later? And the answer is um, yes and no. You cannot decrease the number of partitions in existing uh, topic. However, you can add more partitions. Uh, whether adding more is a good idea will depend on how you distribute the data till that moment of time. And in particular, whether you use the keys. If you use the keys, adding new partitions will add quite a new headache. You can still do it and we'll come back uh, to this later to see uh, what you will need to pay attention to. In the next video, we'll look at how default partitioner decides where to send the data. Leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel.